there's just so much more to discover and add on. It's not just being seen to enhance an effect, it's being seen to really think about how to work on it from the ground up and to think about how we think about that in a way that it's not just uh, an ornament, but it's something that could maybe even drive the story deeper. Uh, and so a lot of those effects, I think, are, are more central and that's why it's more exciting. First thing is, is that um, you can look all around and one should explore the entire space. It's really just the beginning of something that I think technologically is going to get a lot clearer and a lot more, more impactful as far as technology. But I think what we're trying to do is just have a great story there that can only be told in VR that I think people should realize that would this have worked if I didn't watch it in VR? What am I gaining that's new? And we're not saying all content is perfect, but some of the best ones do make use of that. You know, my father passed away when I was 20, and you know, of course my relationship with Hindi cinema and Bollywood came from him. And he would always watch Pakiza and Chalte Chalte, and there's that dance sort of sequence and everything. And for me, I think anything with dance and music and emotion in that way is really beautiful. Umrao John, I think, would be phenomenal to actually sit and be able to experience what it's like to be, you know, a mogul or a nawab during that time. I really, really like, um, and I encourage people to see Notes on Blindness. Uh, it's a French production, and I think it's a masterpiece, and it can only be told in VR. Uh, I think Chris Milk's Evolution of Verse is an incredible introduction for young people, old people, anyone about the power of what VR can do. So, you know, the possibilities are really endless when we just wake up to it. I think, you know, unfortunately we think about it in terms of monetization and audience, but I think this is the time to explore, to create that monetization and audience.